this is Shika. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to style a master bed. Um, I'm going to be sharing just a couple of tips, maybe five or six tips that I particularly use to style pretty much all of my beds in the home. And you guys can't tell by now, I use, um, I, well, I keep it pretty neutral. Uh, I use a lot of grays, whites, creams. That's just the aesthetic of my home. Um, if you like color, you know, go for it. Um, but I keep it pretty neutral. So I'm going to be showing you about five tips, five or six tips that I particularly use. Um, to style all the way from the box spring all the way up to the pillows I choose on top. And a, and a couple tricks um, that I use to kind of save a cut cost. Um, we're going to kind of steer away from the bed in the bag feel, give a more custom look. I personally like a hotel feel. Um, for my bed, I like to get in the bed at night and feel like I'm in a hotel, luxury hotel. I keep my sheets pretty neutral. Again, white sheets. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in seeing the final bed reveal, stay tuned. And also, if you haven't seen my last video, make sure you guys go and check that out. I'm going to leave a link below. Um, but yeah, keep on watching. I'm going to show you guys how to style a master bed. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take off this top mattress. I'm going to try to anyway, but I hurt myself. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put on my box spring cover. And I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. Um, so I actually purchased so I actually purchased this particular box spring cover from Amazon. I want to say it was about between 13 and 17 bucks. So I'm going to be putting this on my box spring to kind of get away from this black look. I want to keep it really neutral all around. So I'm going to take going to cover that black box spring up. So y'all, so the first thing I want to start, I'm going to go ahead and put my box spring cover on and then stay tuned. All right, now guys, I'm going to go ahead and move the mattress over to the side. Uh, again, without trying to hurt myself, and I'm going to go ahead and put the box spring cover on. And this mattress was extremely heavy. Um, luckily, I was able to move it by myself, but it was really heavy. I definitely want to recommend this if you don't have anybody home with you, because this was extremely heavy to move by myself. Alright, now that I have the box spring cover on, I put the fitted sheet on. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my flat sheet on. And I see a lot of people on YouTube and social media that say they steam their linens. I'm not there yet. Uh, I do not steam my linens. Um, I wish I was there, but I'm not. Um, so I just kind of get it as neat as possible. Um, but again, I do not steam my linen. I just kind of fold it down and tuck it as neatly as possible. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my coverlet or quilt, however you want to call it. I've actually purchased this particular one from Bed Bath & Beyond. I think I paid about $42 to $45 for it. I ended up getting, catching one of their flash sales and I had a 20% off coupon. So I ended up paying about $45 including shipping for this particular co um, coverlet or quilt, however you want to call it. And uh, I think it was really good for the price. So I'm going to go ahead and add that on. I'm going to fold my fitted sheet over top of that and I'm going to go ahead and tuck it in. Uh, now a lot of there's a lot of controversy about how to fold the corners there is either like a hotel um fold or a cuff or either like the military style i particularly use like the hotel cuff because it's just easier to do and it's a lot simpler so i'm going to go ahead and cuff both sides and fold those down on each corner Now I'm going to go ahead and add both of my pillows and these pillow stamps actually came with both my coverlet and my duvets. I'm going to use what came with those two sets and I normally just put both of them on. We sleep on one and one of them is just pretty much decorative. So I'm just going to put the more textured one or pattern on the bottom and then I'm going to put the flat one on top. Now it's time to add a little bit more volume. I want to go ahead and get my duvet. I actually purchased this duvet from Amazon. I think it was about $30 for the actual insert and then about $40 for the cover. So about 
70 and 80 dollars total for both of them and um guys it is such good quality um for the price so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i fold my duvet down at the bottom of my bed now, i don't fold it in any particular way i just kind of fold it down uh, i think i folded mine twice so you guys will see that now Again, you just see me folding my duvet down. Again, I'm just folding mine over twice. No particular order at all. You can kind of pretty much fold however you want to. I just want a little bit more volume on the bottom of the bed. So I'm just going to fold mine over, I think, twice to give it more, you know, more umph at the bottom of the bed. And guys, don't worry about how wrinkled the duvet look. It, it kind of goes out with time. A few days later, the wrinkles were pretty much gone. So I didn't have to steam it. But if you want to have that crisp look from the beginning, I definitely recommend probably steaming, steaming your um, duvet. Um, but I did, again, I don't steam mine. So I'm not there yet. All right, so now we have our base, the du the cover that is on, our duvets at the bottom, our pillows. Now we're gonna add the fun stuff. Let's go ahead and add some accent pillows. And I'm I normally choose for king size, but I normally would do three 26 by 26. And I use a 28 by 28 insert to give it more volume. I actually ended up purchasing these particular covers from Amazon, and I'll have those linked below as well. Um, and I ended up purchasing the actual inserts um, from Home Goods. I, well, I, a trick that I normally use is I normally purchase like the clearance pillows from Home Goods or TJ Maxx, and I just take the insert out because it's normally a better quality insert than purchasing them, them from Amazon. And I use those inside of my covers that I purchased on Amazon. So that's the little trick that I particularly use. Well, I use pretty much on all the beds. I normally just purchase clearance pillows for the inserts and then I normally just purchase the covers from another vendor. And I'm just gonna go see me just going in, just kind of chopping the pillows. This is gonna give more fun look. I'm gonna add a couple of more pillows because I am a pillow girl. Uh, if you're not, you know, good for you, but I am. I like a lot of pillows. So I'm, I actually purchased two 22 by 22 inserts um, from, actually I purchased the, um, the covers from Amazon. Again, I'll have those linked below. And I actually purchased the um, pillow inserts from again clearance pillows from Home Goods. I think they're about eight bucks a piece. I had two of those, which are about eighteen, about sixteen dollars, um, eighteen with tax. And I ended up purchasing the covers from Amazon. They were about fifteen for two um, for both of the twenty-two by twenty-two inch covers. And again, the insert itself is about twenty-four by twenty-four. So I'll show you guys how I do it. This is the original pillow cover that came with the pillow from um, Home Goods. It was about eight dollars, which is not a bad color, but again, I wanted you know to make it more fun. So I end up that's the insert. You can kind of see me taking the insert out the clearance pillow cover and then putting on my pillow cover that I purchased from Amazon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on, and then we're gonna add maybe one more pillow just to make it finish the off the look. So, but now I'm just gonna go in and put the cover on this particular pillow.
and this particular pillow insert was giving me uh, well actually it was an insert it was actually the cover was giving me a hard time I didn't want to zip um, so I finally got it zipped up so you just see me kind of manipulate that and kind of chop that one and then we're going to add our final pillow um, which is the one I purchased from Target and everybody know I love a good Target run um, so I purchased this particular one from Target I think it was about $35 it's from their Opal House collection and um, I normally wouldn't purchase 35 for a pillow because again I'm just uh, I'm budget conscious um, but I thought it was really cute I thought it would be a really good look to finish off the pillows on the bed so I ended up purchasing again from Target and I have it linked below as well. It was about 35 if I'm not mistaken. So it wasn't on sale, but not bad for the size. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add that to finish off the look. All right, and no bed will be complete without a throw blanket. I actually ended up purchasing the one I have from Target. And I'll give you guys a disclaimer. It was a little pricey for me. I'm um, not, not sure about, you know, everybody else's budget, but I am always thinking about the budget. Um, I ended up paying about $59 because I had a $10 off gift card. So I ended up going ahead and biting a bullet to purchase it. And I had been eyeing this throw for a few months now, but I just could not see myself paying $69 for a throw blanket. But I said, you know, I'm going to go ahead. I got a gift card. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use that towards my purchase. So I ended up getting this one. I ended up getting it in the color natural. And again, it was $69. But my gift card ended up paying $59, of course, plus taxes. And I ended up getting the full queen. Uh, simply because my local target was out of the king size. But the, the queen ended up working out just fine. It was long enough to where it, did, it gave me the look I was looking for. Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put this particular throw on the bottom to kind of finish off the full look. And you guys off top i feel like it was so worth the money uh, i mean though you can just feel how heavy it is and the texture it was giving me exactly what i was looking for i was so impressed um, with this particular throw i was like again skeptical about the price because i'm just not i'm not there yet um but yeah it was so worth the price i definitely highly recommend this throw if you're looking for that you know, that modern farmhouse kind of feel even if you're looking for more of a more of a cozy feel this throw is perfect it was really heavy really durable um I, I'm, I'm really impressed with this i was super excited once i got it out and kind of got it played around with it on the bed it really was worth the price And you guys, this is the final look. I'm just kind of playing around, make sure the pillows are all positioned correctly. But this is the final look, you guys. And I am so excited with how it turned out. Total cost, I think I ended up spending about a little under $250 for all the bedding, including the throw blankets. So I'm really, um, really impressed with how it looks for that particular price. Again, we're staying away from the bed and the bag feel to give a more custom look. And I think we nailed it with this particular look. So I'm gonna give you guys a full look of the bed a scan over of the bed but if you haven't seen my last video again make sure you guys um check that i'm gonna have it linked below and thank you guys so much for watching um again if you haven't uh, subscribed make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button to see more content like this and thank you so much for watching